Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my Troll Let's Play series. Today, I am going to be crafting the Dormant Sage Dragon. I forgot what it's called. Is it? It's Arrow. Uh, because I did get 10k uh, cubits since the last time I made the Let's Play video. It's only been a couple days. I thought it's been a while, or I thought it was going to take like 8 days. Or not 8 days, it was going to take like 5 days. I don't know if it's been 5 days or not, but you know, we have it. So we're going to craft it up. We're going to take a look at it, see how cool it looks. Again, it <laughs> It's so confusing because it crafts instantly. So I've got to retire the tank turtle for now. Oh, there he is. He's actually in my inventory. All right, so let's learn him. Errol, the iron bolt. So let's take a look at him. There's no sound right now. Like, the music just stopped. So <laughs> that is why it's, like, super quiet. All right, so we're going to get on Errol. Let's see how he looks. I really like this dragon. I said this when the Extra Life pack first came out, like, three months ago. I actually like this dragon a lot more than the uh, other dragon that we got last time. And a lot of people said that it was Lugia. That's that's the uh, Pokemon that I had in mind <laughs> when I was talking about the last dragon. But I couldn't necessarily think about like what it was, like the exact name of it. Because you gotta remember, I played Pokemon when it first came out. Uh, Lugia came out back in 2000. That was 16 years ago. <laughs> I haven't seen Lugia in like 16 years. Uh, so for anybody that was like, wow, how could you forget Lugia? That was when I was, like, six years old, guys. <laughs> um, but yes, we're gonna take a look at Errol. He is, he looks pretty awesome, in my opinion. I like the white color. Usually I don't like, like, the bone dragon, I think, kind of looks a little ugly. But this one has, like, the nice tint, and it's also got, like, some black and purple involved. And it's not just, like, pure white. It's, like, a, it's a shaded white, which, I don't know, I, I personally love this dragon. He's up there with my favorites with uh, the Azulian. Maybe even better than the Azulian, in my opinion. Uh, in terms of visual look, like, uh, this is all cosmetic that I'm talking about. Because a lot of people ask me, like, what's my favorite dragon? I always say Azulian. But this one is a very, very close match because, I don't know, he just looks... <laughs> he looks awesome. Just look at him. Uh, he's got a bunch of contrasting colors that look very nice together. Like, uh, white. I feel like white and purple go good together. I don't know. Um, let's see his visual effect. And hey, look at that visual effect. It looks so awesome compared to the other dragon too. The purple dragon has like just some generic effect. This one has like a lightning beam come down from the sky. <laughs> like it's, I don't know, it's very, very awesome. I think they did a very nice job with this mount. So yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favorite mounts uh, in general, plus dragon, along with the Azulian. Uh, I kind of like Fortress too, but I wouldn't put Fortress up there with uh, the Azulian and the and this guy, in my opinion. Just because, like, green, yeah, green is my favorite color, but uh, it's just, it's too green, <laughs> in my opinion. So, I don't know. And by the way, I still have that bug. I turned off Razor Synapse, guys. It's not Razor Synapse, I promise you. <laughs> Even though I explained it in my uh, challenge video la uh, yesterday, I think it was, people, well, like I said, it's not... It's not Razor Synapse, and then people apparently didn't watch the video or something because everyone was like, it's Razor Synapse, it, you have to turn it off. And I turned it off and it's still happening, even though I s explained yesterday that it wasn't. So it's definitely, definitely not Razor Synapse, guys. I both turned off the heat map option and I just completely exited off my desktop. Like, it's not in my system tray at all. It's not working right now. Um, so it's definitely not Razor Synapse. Again, like I said, it only happens when I'm recording with DxTory, and that's... Not 100% not the issue as well. Um, I think it's just in general, Trove has this bug. It's had this bug for months now, but trying to break it down to what it is, I think it's literally just Trove. It, like, it exacerbates when I use DxTory to record. Like, I get 360s all the time, but uh, it's definitely just a bug within Trove in general. Like, everyone gets it for the most part. But just at lower, you know, frequencies than I am right now with DxTory running. So it's definitely, like, it has to be something with DxTory to make it more frequent. But it's also just a general bug within Trove itself. Um, also, we're just doing U9 because we're just showing off a dragon. And I'm still currently leveling up my Neon Ninja because I didn't play on Saturday once again. Uh, I don't think I've ever leveled on a Saturday since the first Saturday that Mantle of Power came out. So in two months, I've only played one Saturday. So definitely not the most efficient thing to do uh, when you're trying to level all classes to 30. But hey, 
as it's not like I'm leveling anymore, I'm literally farming dust, and I'm going to be farming dust on classes that aren't 30, so I get XP in the meantime, because I don't need all classes to 30, all classes to 25 is perfect, I can do whatever I want from level 25, but, you know, might as well get some experience, like, I'm not gonna play my Shadow Hunter while farming U9, because I can do it on a level 25 and get XP out of it. Sure, it's gonna be less efficient for dust, but it's gonna kill two birds with one stone, which is in the long term, more efficient because when they finally upgrade uh, Mastery to 400 or whatever they're going to do it to, uh, it's definitely going to help having all classes to 30 because that's a lot of uh, Mastery points. It's not as much as level 20s because there's not a level 30 costume, but if they ever do add a level 30 costume, well then, there, it's even more of a buff to uh, <laughs> to Mastery points from level 30. Jeez, that, that visual effect is awesome. I know they blew a hole, but I just want to see it. It's, it's so cool! <laughs> Um, but yeah, I guess I could talk about a few things from yesterday's videos. I already talked about the Razor Snaps bug thing, uh, which again, guys, it's not like 100% Razor Snaps. It might exacerbate it for you. For me, it doesn't, uh, cause I don't have it on. It's DX Tori that does it for me. So it just must be like extra processes kind of make it more frequent for a lot of people. That could be it. I don't know. But, uh, also the whole Titan's Treasure debate. It's factual that it's not worth it, but if you're a new player and you think that you need that flux, then go ahead and buy it. Honestly, <laughs> I had a lot of people trying to like argue a point against it. There's no arguing against it. It's a literal fact. It's numbers. It's pure numbers. But if you feel like you want that flux now, go ahead. Just I just I'm here to help. If you don't have to do exactly what I say, like ever, uh, that's you know. That's your decision if you want to follow what I say or not. I'm just giving you the correct information. You deal with that as you want, honestly. Like, if you buy them, it's not going to affect me, to be honest. So there's no need to try to, uh, you know, argue or anything like that. Um, I'm just here to help. And if you choose to, you know, go out on your own and do your own thing, that's all good, man. That's actually what I encourage. Uh, I only, I'm only here to give you the information. You do with that as you, uh, as you see right. Um, and you know, I do as I see, right? I know for a fact I cannot buy those Titan Treasures for a very long time because I know exactly how long it takes because I'm at the end game. I know it takes months and months and months to get full stellar. Uh, and you know, not a lot of people consider time as something that's a thing. I can go out and farm Radiant Shards for an hour and make more than a Titan Treasure can ever give me. I know that for a fact anyone can do that, but not everyone knows they can do that. So they think that the Titan Treasures are the only way they can make Flux, which is, you know, not true at all, because it's a horrible way of making Flux. It's only a weekly thing. It's not something you can farm. But, you know, that's just, you know, people don't like to, you know, understand facts, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's that's all good, guys. You can do as, do as you please. I'm just here to help. That's all. That's why I try to make it a very strong, like, I try to make a strong case against something that's a factual thing. Because, like, if it's just an opinionated thing, I'll, I'll definitely tell you, like, you know, I think this is it. Like, when we were talking about classes at first, I was like, I think, you know, Boom Ranger might be the cl best class. I don't know. He could be. He could not be. I don't, he could have been. Obviously, that was, you know, debunked within, like, a week because then everyone took a look at Neon Ninja. And it's like, wow, how did we miss Neon Ninja for so long? Um... So, yeah, like, if it's something that's factual, that's the times I will pretty much make a very strong case against it. That's when you know I'm, like, really trying to get the point across, because then I know that anything, like, against that word is just... It's not... It's just wrong, because <laughs> it's a fact. Um, so, yeah, if I ever, like, sound strongly against something, that means that I've actually, you know, done the math and done the testings and, you know, done all that stuff. So, that's just, like, a future future projection i guess <laughs> in case you ever you know watch more um but yeah do what you want guys it's all good <laughs> i don't care if you waste your time i don't care if you waste your flux it's all good i'm just here to try to tell you not to uh obviously not everyone that watches my videos follow exactly everything i say but in general the people that you know listen have a easier time with the game because i obviously have a very easy time within the game because i've played the game for so long that I pretty much, you know, have gotten the knowledge of everything because, you know, that's what three years of playing one game does. <laughs> um, also, fun fact, my Neon Ninja is almost 13k at level 28. <laughs> but, as you can tell, I'm not as good with the Neon Ninja because 
I have no critical hit. The Neon Ninja, like when I say Neon Ninja is the best class in the game, it's hands down the best class in the game, but a lot of people don't realize that I'm talking about the end game. I'm talking about anything 16k power rank plus, uh, because I know I, I, keep, I keep saying the Neon Ninja is amazing, and people are like, well, the Neon Ninja farms slower than my Shadow Hunter. Uh, that is because that is true. The Neon Ninja does farm slower than the Shadow Hunter below 16k power rank. The Shadow Hunter is king at 10k power rank. There is no class that can out damage Shadow Hunter at 10k power rank. Because the thing with the uh, Shadow Hunter is he attacks so fast very easily. Like, he gets max attack speed instantly with his Clash Gem. He doesn't have to get attack speed on his gear. So that gives him the most chances to crit. Basically, he has the highest critical hit, even if, like, a Neon Ninja and a Shadow Hunter have the same exact critical hit, let's say 30%. A Shadow Hunter will always crit more because it's dealing way more attacks per second uh, than a Neon Ninja. So, yes, Shadow Hunter is king at 10k power rank, but at 16k power rank is where the Shadow Hunter falls off. That's why I say, you know, newer players are the ones that think that Shadow Hunter is, you know, the best class in the game because he is at that low level. Uh, he's hands down the best class at that low level because critical hit is everything in this game. Um, so that's why, like, once you pass a certain power rank and you get, every class gets 100k, or 100% uh, critical hit, you know, things don't look as good for the Shadowhunter because Shadowhunter just lost his only thing that was going for him because he deals so little damage, uh, in pure hits. He hits 12 per, or 12 times a second, uh, which is 12 times damage, but the Neon Ninja hits for, what was it that I did? Let's invite this guy to the club real quick. It's 9.5 times for his right click, which you can get every second because you can do three attacks a second. Plus, if you hit more than one target, it procs more than one ring because it's one ring per enemy you hit. Um, so it, it can be like one attack a second. So you can do two shurikens in uh, a second. And it's 9.5 times damage, but it has a 2.5 times critical multiplier. That's why it's all about crits. Uh, like, Neon Ninja is literally, if you have no critical hit, you're not going to do anything with a Neon Ninja. Um, so that means it's basically like 20 times damage a second, or 40 times damage a second, if you can get two off in one second. Uh, lag does kind of bring that back a little, but lag affects every class in the game, so it's not really an excuse, because even the Shadow Hunter gets, uh, like, super uh, brought down by lag, like, his projectiles just won't hit uh, if you're lagging, but... Yeah, the Neon Ninja, like, he definitely, like I said, if you don't crit, you're only doing 9.5 times damage. But if you do crit, you're doing, like, 20 times damage. It's actually more than 20 times. It's, like, 22 times damage or something like that. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to, you know, do the, the math right now. I just woke up. That's why I'm sounding maybe a little tired. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's all about crit, man. The, the Shadow Hunter does not deal anywhere near 40 times damage a second or even 20 times damage a second. It does 12 times, period. 12 times damage a second, period. Um, that's not including crits. Like, both of them are not including crits. I'm doing the crit multiplier, not critical hit chance. Obviously, the Neon Ninja, if he actually crits, he deals like 2,000 times damage. Uh, but we're not counting the actual critical hit. We're only counting the coefficient damage. Um, so... Yes, the Shadow Hunter does 12 times damage times, you know, whatever your critical damage is whenever you crit. So if you're doing 900% critical hits, you're doing, what, 12 times 9, which is, or 12 times 90, which is like, I don't know, 2.8k or something like that. <laughs> 1.8k uh, or 18k, I don't know. What? <laughs> Someone pull out a calculator and do it. Uh, but yeah, that's, that is, I mean, I explain this like every single time because... I mean, again, it's the newer players, they don't have anything to go off of besides what they see. That's why I try to explain it as many times as I can. Same thing with the Titan's Treasures. It's, you know, it's definitely the newer players that are thinking that they need those Titan Treasures, uh, which is not the case at all. But, you know, sometimes, you know, it takes a few times to explain something before it uh, becomes apparent. So, that is why I explain the Shadow Hunter, like, literally every single video uh, and the Neon Ninja, because, you know, sometimes it's... I forget a detail, like I forgot to say that it's literally all about crit with the Neon Ninja. If you don't have crit, he's not going to beat out the Shadow Hunter. So if you're nowhere near 16k power rank, the Neon, the Neon Ninja is not going to be the best class for you. It's it's a completely different game at the early game compared to the end game. Uh, like Dracolice and Lunar Lancers, uh, at the early game, you might think that they have the worst class gems in the entire game. But at the end game, they actually have some of the best class gems in the entire game. Dracolite and Lunar Lancer are considered some of the best classes at the end game, along with the Neon Ninja and the Boomeranger because, you know, 
they can survive once you hit a certain power rank. They can't survive that early. Like, when you're only, like, 8k power rank, 10k power rank, your Lunar Lancer minions are gonna die, like, instantly. But if you're at 16k power rank and you have, you know, a tank in an ultra mode, they're gonna stay alive and you're gonna have eight or six out at a time. And, you know, it's it's just crazy damage because that's six times damage plus your uh, critical hit. Just It's the same thing with the Bloom Ranger. The Lunar Lancer and the uh, Draculite are the same exact thing as the Bloom Ranger. Just, you know, the other abilities are different. Um, so Lunar Lancer will probably actually beat out a Bloom Ranger at the end game because the Lunar Lancer deals more damage than the Bloom Ranger, period. Uh, even without the Clash Gems, so... With the Clash Gems being the same, it's just like pre-mental power damage, uh, which the Lunar Lancer does beat out Boom Ranger. Boom Ranger is like 6th uh, pre-MLP, and Lunar Lancer was 4th. So, yeah, the Lunar Lancer is probably better than Boom Ranger at Endgame. I don't know for a fact, because they, again, I have to deal that testing. I know for a fact that their, their minion damage is the same. They all do 6 times damage uh, per second with their minions, but their actual abilities, I don't know. Uh, Boom Ranger could uh, beat them out. But uh, I just, I don't know. <laughs> just judging off pre-mental power damage, since a class without its Clash Gem is pre-mental power, I'm going to say Lunar Lancer will beat a Boom Ranger at endgame. It's just, it's, you know, numbers. Um, so yeah, definitely is something to consider whenever I talk about something. It might not be the same version of the game that you're playing. You know, you might be playing the early 10k powering game. In case, in that case, when I say Shadowhunter sucks, he doesn't. At that early of power rank, he is the king. He, no doubt about it, he deals the most damage uh, along with the Revenant. Um, but, you know, you haven't heard me talk about Revenant in a while because, you know, the Revenant, while he's very good at dungeon clearing, he's not, you know, the best at ultras. He's nowhere near a Shadowhunter or a, uh, a Neon Ninja in ultras because he doesn't deal that much damage as much as a Neon Ninja whenever he crits. Um, so definitely something to always consider. Uh, I'm most of the time talking about the end game. I do sometimes talk about the early game, but for the most part, I don't because everyone should be not in the early game <laughs> in general like you you don't want to be revolving around the early game because people pass that uh that's something that i've learned to like whenever i make a class guide people are like where's the jump where's the jump at end game you don't get jump <laughs> you have jump on your dragons and your patron um uh, so like those are always always things to consider i most of the time i talk about end game Unless I specifically say, you know, early game, like I am right now about the Shadowhunter. Early game, Shadowhunter, yes. Late game, not so much. Uh, early game, Neon Ninja, not so much. Late game, Neon Ninja, most definitely yes. <laughs> like, it's it's a different, it's a completely different game. Same with the Dracolite. Like, I've always said, you know, Dracolite is one of the worst classes in the game. That's true until you hit end game. At end game, he's one of the best because of the minion damage, man. Th those minions are a very good thing in this game. Uh, like... Uh, it's just, I don't know, the damage is good because it's six times damage per second, uh, no matter what, and they can crit with uh, each hit. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's good. Um, so that'll probably be it. I don't know how long I've been rambling because I'm not timing this, and I also just woke up, so I'm not really, you know, my mind isn't like, I need to end the video, I need to end the video, I'm rambling too long. So let's do this last dungeon. I hope this video is not like 20 minutes long. Um,. And we'll be good right here. I think I got everything off my chest that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I am going to be making maybe two guides today because I did get a request from a person on Twitter to make a video about a video that somebody else made apparently. I don't know. I'll talk about it later in the guide. But I'm going to be probably making two guides because one's going to be a pretty quick guide because it's pretty simple to talk about. Um, and then I'll make a probably night guide today. I'll probably get on that. And finally do it. I didn't get a Clash Gem key this week, so I couldn't do the uh, Everdark guide, which means no Stellar Forging guide. But I think that's pretty, you know, <laughs> that's not really needed at this point. So, uh, obviously I'm going to do it as soon as possible. But I think a lot of people will appreciate the class guides more if I, you know, spam a little of those guys out. Because, honestly, that's all I really need to do right now is class guides. I, there's 13 more classes that I need to make a guide on since... Uh, Shadowhunter is the only one that I've done, so that's 13 days of guides, so that's, a, you know, at least two weeks if I did them every single day, which obviously I'm not going to do, so we're still a while off making all the, the class guides. I'm not one to just spam a bunch of guys. This, by the way, dragons are so bad <laughs> compared to the turtle tank. Uh, as you can see, that took forever. Um, but yeah, 
I'm not gonna spam out a bunch of guides in one day. I'll do them once a day, but it's gonna take a while because you know, 13 cl classes is a lot of classes <laughs> to create guides on. Um, so yeah, overall, about the title of the video, this dragon is awesome looking, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I should probably use potions too. That would help a lot, wouldn't it? Because then I'd be creating for 13 million. <laughs> Uh, by the way, also, I guess something else I can say, whenever I say, like, 20, or 200 million, I mean 20 million, if I ever say, you know, 13, or three, uh, 130 million, I mean 13 million, there's no such thing as 130 million in this game, it caps out at 100 million, I know, uh, people were correcting me on that, so thank you, uh, I do, I do know that it caps out at 100 million damage, um, so... Yeah, whenever I say like 200 million, I'm probably gonna correct myself from now on. Um, but if I ever say 200 million, I probably mean 20 million. <laughs> uh, that's just, I don't know, my brain sees a lot of numbers. It's like, wow, that's like 200 million when it's like, it's it's 20 million. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Once again, this dragon looks freaking awesome. Just look at him. He, he has, kind of has a big head, to be honest. But <laughs> besides that, I, I just think his colors are very, very nice contrasting to, uh, against one another. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and I will see you guys next time.